dart bags, wrinkles, discoloration, all of these things happen very normally in life and they tend to show up in our photographs. Hey there, my name is Aaron Nace. In this example, we're gonna show you a very quick and easy way you can lighten up those under eye bags and remove wrinkles if you'd like. We got a great tutorial for you. Let's jump into Photoshop. We got three examples for you. We're jumping right in. So here's our first example. Now, a common problem I see when people try to replace under eye bags, like, okay, let's say we were to use artificial intelligence and just like make a selection here, right? And then we're gonna hold shift and make a selection there. And then we're just gonna tell generative fill to just like generate us a new thing. And you might think like, cool, it'll just remove the under eye bags. AI is magic. It's gonna just perfect everything, right? But here's the thing that happens a lot, and we're gonna see it in literally two seconds, is it just gives you new features, right? This doesn't really necessarily look like the same person. It can completely change the shape and like the tone of the eyes. Like if I just make this visible and invisible, like these areas right here under these eyes, like that's part of her eye. Like the eye itself is a, it's a sphere, <laughs> you know that. It's like, this is like the eye itself, you know, kind of poking out from under the eyelid. That makes a lot of sense. So if you go and do something like this, it just makes it look like it's a different person because that's, you know, they need to have this shape there. So what we're doing here is we're not gonna completely change the shape of these people's eyes. That doesn't make any sense. We don't wanna do that. We don't want these people looking like different people. Maybe we're just gonna lighten these areas up. And thankfully, that's actually incredibly easy to do. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit L for our lasso tool. Now we're gonna just make a lasso selection right here underneath the eye, just like this. Go ahead and go right down there. Okay, nice lasso tool right down there. Super simple and easy to do. Let's hold the shift key. We're gonna hold shift and then we're gonna click and drag. We're gonna basically just do the same thing around the other eye. Don't be afraid to just, you know, go a little bit low. That's totally okay. Okay, so we've made two selections, one for this eye, one for that eye. Now we're gonna paint in just a second, but when we paint, we don't wanna have like a very well-defined edge around where we paint, right? Like here, I'll just give you like a very rough example. Like if I paint here and then I hit Control or Command H, you can see how well-defined that edge is to my painting, okay? We don't wanna do that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we are going to make our selection, we're gonna feather that selection, we're gonna make the edge of the selection a little bit softer. So when we paint, it's not gonna be so apparent where the edge of that selection is. Okay, now here is my favorite way of feathering the edge of a selection. We're gonna use a Gaussian blur combined with a quick mask. I like doing this because I can see what I'm doing because here's the deal. If I just go to like select and then I go to uh, modify and then I go to feather and I say feather this by 10 pixels and hit okay, I don't even know what that looks like. It didn't actually give me a preview, like visually, of what a 10 pixeled feather selection is. I have no idea, it looks the exact same. All right, let's hit undo. So I'm gonna show you my favorite way of feathering the edge of a selection. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna then get into our quick mask mode. This is basically a way to us, we can visually see our selections. Easy to do, hit Q on your keyboard. So Q on your keyboard, now you're in quick mask mode. Q, you're back. Q, 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 okay? You can also, th this icon right down here, that's quick mask mode, okay? Now, when I'm in quick mask mode, just like this, now I can apply a blur, like a Gaussian blur, and I can actually see what I'm doing, okay? Let's go to filter, let's go down here to blur, and we're gonna go to Gaussian blur. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And now, check this out, we're just bringing it up in there, I can actually see with my slider, this is how feathered the edge of my selection is going to be. I have a really good idea because I can actually see it, okay? And we're just gonna do something like that. It looks pretty good. 23 pixels, let's just call it even 25 pixels if you wanna follow along. Much better, rather than going to filter, feather, and then trying to guess how many pixels you wanna feather by, who knows, I like this much better. So let's hit okay. Now, all we have to do is hit Q to get out of quick mask mode, or again, you can just click on this little icon right there. It'll get out of quick mask mode. So now you can see if I were to paint, there we go. It's a feathered selection. We don't have that hard edge selection like we did before. Okay, fantastic. So we have our selections. We went ahead, we went into quick mask mode. Then we went into our Gaussian blur. We blurred that quick mask by 25 pixels. 
We got out of quick mass mode and we're back to our selections. So we're ready to start painting. Okay, here's the key. It's super easy to do. Couple things, hit B for the brush tool, okay? You wanna right click and you wanna make sure you set your hardness all the way down to zero. You want a hardness of zero, okay? There we go. Now, we're gonna hold Alt or Option. Alt or Option, when you're in your brush tool, is gonna bring up your eyedropper, okay? And we're just gonna click on this eyedropper to a color that we actually like. We'll just say, yeah, that color. <laughs> we don't want it the dark color, we want it the light color. So let's go ahead and click here on that light color. Fantastic. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, and this seems, if you've never done this before, we're gonna hide the selection, okay? It's not gonna make it invisible. It's not gonna make it so it disappears. We're just gonna hide it because look at this. All this like little area right around, this is called the marching ants, this white and dark. It's kind of distracting and I can't really see what I'm doing. So we're gonna hide it by hitting Control or Command H. Control or Command H. Now, if this is the first time you've done this, it's gonna say hide Photoshop or hide extras. Click on hide extras. Okay, check it out. Command H again and it's back. Command H again, it's gone. Command H again and it's back, okay? So when I'm wanting to work with the selection in Photoshop, I don't wanna see the edge, it messes me up. So I like to hit Command H, there we go. My selection is still active, I just don't see the visual indication of that selection. Okay, cool, so let's go ahead and zoom out. You don't wanna be this, you don't wanna do this too far zoomed in, that's not gonna help you. You actually kinda of wanna be zoomed out, okay? So again, B for the brush tool, we're gonna select a color that we like, this little bit of a lighter color, Okay, and then we're just gonna change our blending mode. So I'm on a new layer. Make sure you're not on your background layer. New layer here, okay? Change your blending mode from normal. We're gonna go down to where it says lighten. Lighten, we don't wanna darken any pixels. We just wanna lighten them. Okay, almost done. We just want at the very, very top where we have our brush. Remember, we're still on our brush tool. We have our opacity and our flow. We're just gonna set our flow to 10%. So I'm gonna click there and then type in 10 and hit enter, flow of 10%, okay? This is just gonna make sure that when I start painting, it's not gonna be like and put all of our color at one time, okay? It's gonna be a very slow buildup, which is what we want, okay? And then I'm gonna use the trackpad on my laptop. You guys don't need any fancy tools here, okay? There we go. All I have to do is click, 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 click. And each time I click, it's just gonna lighten it up a little bit. There we go. And again, my goal here is not to completely, there we go. My goal here is not to completely change the shape of her face. I don't wanna completely remove all of this information. I want it to look the exact same. I want it to still look like her. There we go. But what I do want is just to remove the darkness, okay? So we made our selection. I'm selecting these light colors and I can just click and paint and paint it and make them a little bit brighter. That's my goal here. So go ahead and select a nice bright color and go ahead and paint it in there. Fantastic. And there we go. I can just turn this layer, it's a regular layer. I can turn this off and on, see how I like it. Pretty good already, right? And if I need to, I can lower the opacity of it so I can get a much more natural result. So look at this. It's still her, still same results. It just is lighter, okay? There we go. Just a little bit lighter right here under our eyes. Okay. Now, if you want extra points, if you wanna remove some little wrinkles and things like that, you can do that with AI. So let's control or command D to deselect, okay? And then I'm gonna hit L for my lasso tool. We're just gonna select like this little area there. You can hold your shift key. There we go. Select that little thing, okay? And if you want these gone. Now, obviously, there we go. You can do this at your own discretion. If this is a client of yours, ask them first, okay? So I just made those selections, okay? We're gonna click on Generative Fill. I'm just gonna hit the period key here. It'll get around any restrictions and we're gonna hit Generate. There we go, and this is gonna generate. So you don't wanna do the majority of the work with artificial intelligence. It's just gonna give you different eyes. You don't want that, okay? Just do it with the brush tool. Make a selection there, paint it in, super easy. We got two more examples for you, but here we can see a couple different examples. There we go, and we have nice natural looking results. I think that looks really, really good. Here's our before and our after. Fantastic. Let's go to window. We're gonna go down to our next example, okay? This is a, a guy, same type of deal here, same thing. So let's start L for our lasso tool. We're just gonna lasso this area around, okay? There we go, hold down the shift key and lasso this area around. There we go. If you wanna include some of this area up there, you can do that too. Perfect, fantastic. You can. Do that up there too. Fantastic, looking good, my man, looking good. 
Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. I think that looks good. Q for the quick mask mode. Let's go to uh, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur, and this time, it's gonna be a little bit less, right? Just a little bit less of a blur, because it's a smaller resolution image. There we go, around, let's just type in 10. Looks pretty good. Hit okay. Q for the quick mask mode again, so we're out of quick mask mode. Now we're gonna create a new layer right down here. Just click on that new layer icon. B for the brush tool, okay? Our flow is still at 10%. We made it 10% before. It's gonna stay there until we change it again. B for the brush tool, okay? Our layer, make sure to change the layer blend mode from normal. We're gonna go down to lighten. Control command H to hide that selection. I don't wanna see it. I just wanna work with it, okay? Make our brush a little bit smaller and then sample our colors. I'll zoom in so you can see Alt or Option, sample that color of the lighter skin. There we go. And then make a brush a little bit bigger, sample that and just start painting it in. Just click, just click with your mouse or your trackpad or whatever you have it. And don't go crazy with it. That's where, that's where things go wrong, you know? You don't wanna completely remove this stuff. That's just, you know, you're gonna make people look like they're not themselves. And that's never the goal with any type of retouching. It's always just like, okay, let's reduce. We don't wanna completely remove or like completely change who these people are. Let's just reduce it a little bit, right? There we go. That's looking really good. You can hit control or command D to deselect. Maybe I'll even bring my opacity down just a little bit. Okay, big difference, really, really easy to do. Window down to our next example. Don't forget you can download all this on flarn.com. Click on the link right down below. Same deal, okay? We're gonna hit L for our lasso tool. Just like make a selection right over here. This time I'm gonna go ahead and say, you know what, this area here, I might wanna make that a little bit brighter too. Fantastic. L for the lasso tool, we're gonna do this right over here also. Fantastic. And right down here. Now some of you might be saying, hey, is this gonna cover up some of your skin texture? And the answer is yes. But we're doing it at such a low opacity that it's not really gonna wind up making that big of a difference in the overall image. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Q for that quick mask mode, okay? We're gonna go to filter, we're gonna go to blur, we're gonna go to Gaussian blur, okay? Each time it's gonna be a different t amount of blur, so just make sure that you put it, whatever makes sense, to, to the image you're actually working on. All right, that looks pretty good. Around, well, let's try in 10 pixels. And hit okay, Q for the quick mask mode. Fantastic, make sure you always make a new layer, really important. Change that layer from normal down to lighten. Okay, control or command H to hide that selection. B for the brush tool and then hold Alt or Option for your eyedropper and then sample the lighter color. Okay, I think it's important to zoom out so you can actually see what you're doing. If you're too far zoomed in, you can't really see what you're doing. It's easier to make mistakes actually. Okay, you wanna see how your effects mix with the entire image, not just a super zoomed in version. Now. I held Alt or Option as I sampled over here and painted, okay? Over here, this is darker skin, so I gotta hold Alt or Option, I gotta sample again, okay? I gotta make sure I sample the darker skin now, okay? I don't wanna, if I sample this and try to paint over there, look what's gonna happen. It looks all weird, right? Okay, make sure to sample this skin, even though it's a little bit darker, it's still the color that we want, okay? There we go, let's go ahead and paint that in. Slow, steady wins the race. I can paint this in a little bit down there, too. There we go, just filling this in with a little bit of light, nice and easy. Nice and easy. There we go, that's what we like. Fantastic. And there we go, let's go ahead and zoom out, turn that off and on, and just like pretty much everything I do in Photoshop, I always recommend just reduce that opacity a little bit, because we think we've done like, ah, perfect, but then you look at it a day later and you're like, I did it too much. So we're just gonna go to our layer, our opacity here, and we're just gonna reduce the opacity again. We don't wanna change how these people look. That's not our goal. We just wanna slightly remove a little bit of dark, a little bit of coloration, and there we go. There we have it. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna get more free Photoshop content. Thanks again, and I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.